I've been running this new sand filter super hard for a week straight. It is definitely the real deal. Let me tell you all about it. Welcome back to the channel everybody. It is a beautiful spring hot Texas day. Uh, we're in the middle of opening the pool. I started cleaning it out yesterday. There's a, I just put out a video for that and you can see a little time lapse of us uh, getting in there and cleaning it and the kids having a little fun while we did that. Um, but we're in the middle of filling it. But today I want to talk about a new sand filter. Um, I've been using this Intex sand filter for years now and it's worked great. But you can see it's getting a little old. It's time to replace it. And I've teamed up with Viver. Viver is pretty new to the sand filter game, but they have made pool pumps for, for quite a while now. Um, you can check them out on their website. They got all kinds of products, but uh, we're gonna set up a new sand filter today and see how it runs. Okay, first and foremost, if you're new to the channel, I uh, highly encourage you to subscribe. First of all, it helps me out big time with the, with the channel, but I can help you out big time. I have a lot of videos um, based on Intex pools. Um, how I installed my skimmer, the PVC plumbing that I've done here, this deck that I made, um, works great for us. But um, today we're gonna install this filter. And the, the biggest difference that I've noticed with this and the Intex, with the Intex, the pump came in this way. So I got my plumbing over there to go in here then transferred over here and then out here. The Viva is opposite. So I've gotta come in this way, transfer it here and then my exit out of the pump is gonna to have to go this way. So I'm gonna to have to route it this way. So I might need a little longer tube going that way, but not a big deal. We'll make that happen. The other thing I wanna mention before we start putting things together is, I will link this in the description. You need to have this adapter kit, okay? The Viver fittings are different size than the Intex fittings. So if you're going from an Intex pump um, or, or another filter system that uses the same size as Intex tubing, you're gonna need these conversions. So basically this will go inside there. We're gonna tape it and thread it. And then the Intex uh, pipe will go on the outside of this. So I'm gonna need one for going in here and then one for leaving the pump up here. Okay guys, let's, uh, let's get down to it here. The most important thing when you're doing a project like this, read your instructions, okay? There's a lot of information here that you need to know. So let's do that first. Okay, that's done. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. Read your instructions. If you've never dealt with something like this, it, you don't want to miss something, okay? I know what I'm doing. I've, I've dealt with pool pumps for years now. I have a really good uh, general idea. And I did skim through it just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But read your instructions that come with it. There's helpful information in it. Okay, so I've got the pump bolted on to the plate here. I've got uh, what this is going to sit on here. I've got that screwed in here. The next part is we need to put the plug in the, uh, in the bowl calling it a bowl it's the same the sand part and then we've got to screw all these pieces in right in here okay but obviously you it won't fit in there it won't fit in the top so we're gonna have to probably put i'm figuring maybe three will fit in once it's in there we're gonna have to screw the rest in okay so obviously this part here this has a cap that goes on there like that that's on the outside so we're gonna take this plastic nut off There is a rubber O-ring already right here. We're gonna feed this through the bottom just like that. And we're gonna screw this down. You can really hand tighten this, it ain't gonna leak. Plus it's got that O-ring in there. If you wanna add a little more tighten, you can. Grab your crescent wrench or something, just gently do that. So there's your cap here. Okay, that part's done. Okay, so we're gonna grab this part, which is gonna go in here and sit underneath the sand. I think we can fit three of them in there. So let's screw three in and see if we can get it in there. You just go hand tight on these things. And if you didn't already understand, 
this is just meant to keep the sand out. So you got these little lines. This is what aer aerates the sand, okay? And pushes air through your sand without sucking back through here. Because if the sand comes back through here, it's gonna get into your pool. So, okay, we got three of them in there. So now we need to get it in there. And I have big hands. We're gonna have to get in there and screw it in. That's what it's supposed to look like, okay? And you have a, you got your marks in there. Minimum, maximum. That's where you're gonna put your sand level up to, okay? So you put this in first. You got your cap on the outside. Now we can start adding sand. If at any time you are curious what this part's for, that's to cover this hole, because we don't want sand getting in that hole, okay? So you put this here and you fill your sand through here. Once your sand is up to the maximum level or between the minimum and maximum level, you remove that. Okay, so I'm trying to beat the rain because I feel a thunderstorm coming on. So I'm gonna show you real quick here. So here's what I was talking about earlier. With my Intex system, the pump was on that side so I could just go right into it from there. So I need to get this like this, which is fine. It's a flexible hose right here coming down from my skimmer. So, push this back just a little bit to give me some room. I'm staying on the edge of my, I built a little platform here just out of scrap lumber just to keep it off the ground. So that's what I'm doing. So here's that um, fitting I got on Amazon, which I will link in the description. You need this to go inside here. And as you can see, I used the Teflon tape and it's got an O-ring on there. So you want to get a really good snug, just hand tight and snug, okay? And then this, you have this ring that comes with it here. It's gonna go here. And then we're gonna tighten that on there. Obviously I'm doing this with one hand as I hold the camera. <laughs> That's why I'm stopping and starting so much. It's on there nice and snug. So let's do the other part here. Okay, so I've got my sand in here. And by the way, this 16 inch takes two full bags of sand. My old Intex used one, one bag. This uses two. So remember that when you're at the store getting your sand. Okay. Uh, Viver sends you this adapter if you want to, you know, hook it up this way into the pump. This is just the same type of adapter that I was telling you about, the gray ones. The Intex line, I believe, is two and a quarter inches. This is two and a half. So this would fit that, which comes with the pump. So the part from here to the sand filter, I can use this. So I'm about to use that to hook that up. That's two and a half. That's not going to affect anything. But coming in from my Intex hoses, you have to use the gray adapters. So I'm going to have to use one here, and I'll have to use one up here going back into the pool. Okay, so now, again, this is just to protect the sand from going down here. So you can remove that. We're going to get our head, okay? It says it right on there. Return waste. So the waste is going to shoot out this way. And they do send you a cap to cap the waste end, okay? I'll show you that later. Okay, so now we're going to have to get the other adapter to put in here for the return, which is going to hook up an Intex hose to it. And uh, we're going to hook up the um, Viver hose to the inlet for the filter. Set that there. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I am in the middle of editing this video, and I, I completely forgot to cover the top part here, which is very important to a lot of people. It's similar to the Intex. You have a rinse cycle. You have your regular filter. You have your waste, which is what I use when I vacuum my pool. You have closed, and you have backwash, and you have winter. Now, personally, I pack up all my pump and hoses during winter. I leave the pool up, but I pack all this stuff up, so I won't worry about the winter one, but I would just want to go over those real quick and let you know what it offers. Okay, so now we're gonna use the adapter they send. Screw this, just there is an O ring in there. I'm not going to use tape on there because it's going to get a good seal. Again, I just hand tight the stuff. Okay, there's an O ring that goes right here. So you're going to put this O ring on. Do not forget that O ring. Okay, so then you kind of want to line it up that this covers over the white. There you go, just like that. Okay, so now 
I'm going to hook up this part. This looks like a pretty heavy duty hose they give you, so shouldn't be any problems with that. But again, if there is issues, I can always switch to the Intex style hoses because I'll just have to get some of the extra gray adapters. So now let's put the bracket on to hold the top of the pump on. So you just kind of sandwich it between the top part here and the sand filter part. Okay. And you got these screws here. Let me go ahead and tape this end. Probably don't have to, but why not? They send you the tape. I'm going to use it just maybe give me a little bit better seal. And this goes in here. Again, this is to adapt to my current Intex hoses because they are different size. Okay, it's in there pretty good. So, stop that. Here's the waste cap I was telling you about. It comes with the kit. Just ignore the AC in the background. So, okay, now we're going to hook up the return. As you can see, the sun is shining. This is the very next day because the storms got the best of me yesterday. We had to pack it in. So, okay, we're going to continue where we left off. The only thing we really need to add is your gauge, your pressure gauge. So we're going to screw that in right here. We're going to pull this out and screw it in. Okay, I'm just about to get the pump started. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little cap off here. I probably won't leave this on there. I mean, you can if you want to, but going to take that off. I'm going to show you what I what I'm rigging up to do my backwash. I don't like my water just to fly out of here and get all over the ground and make it muddy. So I'm going to use one of these adapters that I didn't need for any of the the hookup. I'm going to put that right here. And then here's my washout hose. I will link this hose in the description also. This is the hose I use when I backwash. This fitting came with the pump. It's the same as this, but I don't need it because I'm using my existing uh, Intex hose. So, oh. I'm gonna screw this in here. I hose clamped it on there, as you can see. It's got a little O-ring in there too. Just gonna stretch this out real quick and we're gonna test the pump. Okay, the moment is here. I have my uh, skimmer valve open. I can use that valve or my skimmer valve. I get plenty of flow through either one. Uh, but for this test, I'm just gonna keep my skimmer open. So I've got the water in there now. It's filled up the tank. Uh, my return is open. I'm gonna go to backwash. That's leaking from my hose clamp here. I gotta tighten it. This, everything else is tight. So I've already got water right here. So let's hit power and see what we got. We're gonna backwash it a little bit just to get the sand moving through the tank and get everything full. Okay, look, check it out. That's what we're cleaning out. Okay, we're getting the sand moved. We're getting it cleaned out. And it's, it'll uh, start to clear up here in a little bit. Okay, it's coming out much more clear now. I'm gonna let it run a little bit longer. Let me zoom out. That's why you backwash before you put your filter on, okay? Because there is sand that's gonna get through the system. And if I didn't do this, it's gonna go right into your pool before you do anything else, okay? So let's move it and see how clear it looks. Okay, it's pretty clear now. So we're gonna stop it and we're gonna, gonna rinse, okay? We're gonna stop the pump. We're gonna to go to rinse and we're gonna run it again. I like to run rinse for usually about a minute or so. Again, if you don't run rinse for at least a minute, it's gonna put debris or sand right back into your pool. Okay. It's been about a minute, we're gonna shut off. We're gonna to go to filter. We're gonna make sure our return is open. 
That is locked. That is open. Good to go. I still need to raise the water level a little bit, but. <laughs> Look at that. You wanna talk about some pressure? Wow, 3,500 gallons per hour. I'm done. I'm very happy with this filter and pump. Very, very happy. Um, I will link it in the description. If you want more information on this pump, feel free to comment and ask me a question. I will answer it pretty quickly. Um, all these connections look good. The pump itself looks very good, very durable. Um, so. We'll see how it's going to do this pool season. I will keep checking in on this pump and giving you updates with my other videos that I'll be doing this summer. Um, and I have a ton of videos, like probably one or two a week for a little bit coming out. Different lights and landscaping lights and uh, a different fountain that uh, I'm going to try out. Uh, this is a DIY fountain, but I have a company who's going to send me a fountain to try out, to test. So I'll give you my input on that. So thanks again for watching. And again, I like to remind everybody, if you don't have your notifications turned on, you will not get new updates. So make sure you hit that bell uh, after you subscribe, and that way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. So everybody have a blessed day, and thank you for watching.